Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Please all kneel. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who bore the creator of all things. You became the mother of your maker, and you remain forever virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come this Saturday to celebrate this Eucharist in honor and devotion to Our Lady. We ask our Mother Mary to teach us how to ponder on the Word of God and to allow God's Word to penetrate and enter into our hearts. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. Since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So, let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you. O Lord, my rock, my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Please so stand. <clears throat> The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the customs post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors. And said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well 
do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Tamang-tama po ang uh, ating unang pagbasa sa ating pagdiriwang ngayong buwan po. Baka po mar- meron sa atin ang hindi alam, no? Ngayong buwan ay National Bible Month. Nasa gitna na po tayo ng January. Baka hindi pa natin nabubuksan ng Bible natin, no? So, this month is National Bible Month. So, the question is, have you opened your Bibles? Or, I think the more important questions is, do you have a Bible? No? A personal Bible? Nako, baka wala. Baka we have already bought many religious articles. Father, I have a rosary, I have a medal, I have a statue, I have a big statue of the Virgin Mary at home, but you do not have the Bible. Nako, the Bible is the most important article of devotion. It contains the Word of God itself. Baka nakakalimutan natin, no? Ang laki ng ginagastos natin sa mga imahen, sa mga medallions, rosaries, but you do not have a Bible. Wow! No? Are you a Christian if you do not have a Bible? So, I think National Bible Month reminds us of the importance of the Bible. Kung ayaw po ninyo ng mabigat na libro, sabihin nyo sa akin, Father, the Bible is too thick. I do not want to hold it. You can download the Bible for free in your cell phones. No? If you can download TikTok in your cell phone, I think you should download the Bible. And today, the first reading tells us from the letter to the Hebrews, it is said there, the Word of God is living and effective, sharper than a two-edged sword. Sabi ng sulat natin sa unang pagbasa sa mga Hebreyo, hinalintulad niya ang salita ng Diyos sa isang espada, no? two-edged sword. And it says there, it can penetrate your soul and spirit it can penetrate the reflections and thoughts of the heart. Why did our first reading use the image of a two-edged sword? Because primarily, the Word of God wants to enter, penetrate your heart. Kaya pala ang ginamit niyang larawan ay parang uh, patalim na no? espada na gustong pasukin ang iyong puso, ganyan katalas ang salita ng Diyos. And the primary reason why He used the image is that the important thing is for the Word of God to enter us, to penetrate our thoughts, our reflections, our soul, our spirit, our hearts. Allow the Word of God to enter and penetrate your hearts. Alam niyo po nitong uh, uh, pandemic, siguro po isa sa mga advantage nito ay yung mga tao naging aware sa Bible. No? Sana kayo din at yung mga nanonood sa atin online. Dahil nga madalas ay nasa bahay, hindi makapamasyal, yung iba tuloy, nabuksan ng Bible nila. No? Dahil wala nang ginagawa sa bakay, mabuksan nga yung Biblia. No? Alam nyo, minsan natawa ako kasi mayroon pang nagtanong sa akin, nag-message, no? Father, 
Ano bang Bible ang gamit nyo, no? Kasi parang ang ganda yata ng Bible na binabasa nyo, no? Kasi gusto ko yung homily mo, no? Baka iba yung Bible na gamit mo. Sabi ko, hindi po, no? Pare-parehas lang po yung Bible, no? It's the same Bible that we read. And many are messaging me, Father, how do I begin reading the Bible? I want to read, kaya lang parang ang haba. How do I begin? Teach me how to begin reading the Bible. And you know, my dear brothers and sisters, this is what the church suggests to us. The church suggests to us. Makinig po kayo, no? Ang pinuturo ng simbahan, baka narinig niyo na yung salita na Lectio Divina. This is the tradition of the church by which we do not just read the Bible, but we pray the Bible. Let me repeat that. We do not just read the Bible, but we pray the Bible. What does it mean? What do I mean? Kapag nagbabasa ko tayo, hindi lamang nagbabasa. Habang binabasa mo ang salita ng Diyos, ay dinadala mo sa panalangin. Pray the Bible. That is Lexio Divina. Reading the Bible, the Word of God, in prayer. And when you do that, when you read the Bible in prayer, when you pray the Bible, you will allow the Word of God to penetrate your heart. Hindi lamang maiiwan dito ang salita ng Diyos. Papasok dito. At yan ang gusto ng salita ng Diyos. To penetrate your soul. At wag ko kayo mag-alala. Kasi yung iba sabi sa akin, Father, ang hirap ko magbasa ng kahit isang chapter sa isang araw. Parang pinatamad ako, no? Minsan nga makikinig lang tayo ng konting salita ng Diyos, no? Parang kating-kati ka na, no? Gusto mo nang matapos yung homily ni Father, no? Ang tagal na yata, Father, no? Tingin ka ng tingin sa oras. Huwag mo nang babasa ng masyadong mahaba. Kasi minsan, ang haba na nang binabasa mo, pero hindi mo pinapasok sa puso. That is the problem with us. We want to read the Bible for as many chapters as we can. But after reading the Bible, it did not penetrate your heart because you just read. My suggestion is, Read a short portion and pray. That way, the Word of God will penetrate your heart. Look at the example in the Gospel. No? Tingnan po natin sa Ebanghelyo. Tinawag ni Jesus si Levi. He was sitting at the customs post. Ano ang sinabi ni Jesus sa kanya? Sinabi ba ni Jesus ang isang chapter? Nagbasa ba si Jesus? No. Jesus told him, follow me. Those two words, follow me. But it penetrated the heart of Levi. He left everything and followed Jesus. Baka nga yung araw, yun lang ang kailangan yung marinig. Follow me. Pray over those words. Baka yan ang gustong sabihin ni Jesus sa inyo. Follow me. You don't need to read the whole chapter. Just remember Jesus telling you, follow me like Levi. And it penetrated his soul. Jesus was talking to the Pharisees and scribes. What did he say? I do not come I did not come to call the righteous but sinners those who are well do not need a physician the sick need a physician yung isang linya lang na yan mabasa nyo lang ngayong araw yan at magpagdasalan nyo lang ngayong araw na yan baka malaki na ang epekto sa atin ng salita ng Diyos Even if we just remember that line from the Bible, and today the whole day, those words keep ringing into your mind. 
praying over it in your heart, then I think the Bible will become more meaningful to you and me. My dear brothers and sisters, let us learn from Mama Mary, our lady, who always, according to the Bible, pondered all these things in her heart. The first treasure that Mary had is the promise of God in the Annunciation. And she pondered all those things in her heart. National Bible Month. I hope you have a Bible, even in your cell phones. I hope you open your Bible. I hope you are able to read the Word of God, even for a few sentences, even for two words in our Gospel, calling Levi, follow me. And when you read the words of the Bible, you do not just read. We pray the Bible. And when you pray the Bible, then the Word of God will be like a two-edged sword penetrating deep into our lives. Panalangin po natin, sana po ang pinagnilayan natin na salita ng Diyos sa unang bahagi ng Misa ay dadalhin naman natin sa Eukaristiya upang ang Misa ay tunay na maging makahulugan at mabunga. Amen. Please all stand. Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit and aware of his call, let us bring our prayers to the Father. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That consecrated persons like Mary may dedicate their whole lives to God and to the Church, through their witness of poverty, chastity, and obedience, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are leading sinful lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, direct the minds of those, who, of those called to make crucial choices in their lives. Give them an understanding heart, sound judgment, and a burning desire to do what pleases you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, us Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery 
of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just an uh, important announcement. This uh, afternoon, we will be having the vesting of uh, the new image of Santo Nino de Pandacan here at the Manila Cathedral. Kung maaalala po ninyo, nasunog po ang kanilang simbahan noong July, kasama po ang original na imahen. Nasunog po ito. And the Manila Cathedral decided to donate the new image, the new official image of Santo Nino de Pandacan. At ito po ay gawa doon sa lumang kahoy ng kumbento na hindi nasunog. No, kaya makalaga po itong imahe na ito. At uh, ngayong hapon, alas 4 po ng hapon, ay bibihisan po dito ang imahe sa altar ng Manila Cathedral. For those who may want to join us, we can accommodate around 200 persons, 250 persons inside the church for those who may want to come here for this event. And for those who may want to join us online, uh, ito po ay live mamayang hapon, alas 4 ng hapon sa Manila Cathedral Facebook page at uh, gayon din po sa YouTube channel natin. At uh, nawa ay makasama po kayo kahit online, uh, masaksihan po natin ang mahalagang parte na ito ng kasaysayan na ang Manila Cathedral ay uh, uh, magbibigay ng isang napakahalagang imahen sa komunidad ng Santo Nino de Pandacan. We wish to thank the parish community of Santo Nino de Pandacan headed by Father Sani De Claro for allowing the Manila Cathedral to be a part of uh, your celebration. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.